Okay, Ms. Minnick here, helping VB students with writing assignment statements, worksheet number one. Taking a look at the whole worksheet, you see that a third of it is declaration statements, and two-thirds of it is assignment statements. As you've already read in the lecture notes or maybe learned on another worksheet, declaration statements always begin with either dim or const. If it's a variable that you're declaring, then you begin it with dim. The name of the variable is always specified in the problem when I give you uh, exercises, and it's in this different font, so it stands out. So uh, example number one, num apples, would be the name of the variable. And you have to choose a data type. It's as easy as that. Uh, data types are um, integer, double, or string. Later in the school year, we will learn one called Boolean, but you have uh, these three to choose from. If the thing that you're uh, uh, declaring the variable that you're declaring needs to store whole numbers you choose integer if it needs decimal numbers you choose double and if it's words like minic uh, or why I'm missing it would be a string well this is pretty obvious in number one it's an integer and number two you see it's a double and so on so uh, write that out next your data type that is but you need the keyword as in there so what we have now if you uh, read this back to yourself Declare the variable numapples as an integer so that it can store whole numbers. And you can now use the variable numapples elsewhere in your code. It's always good to set it equal to zero, even though Visual Basic does that automatically, because uh, other computer languages that you may study in the future do not always set things equal to zero. So there's the answer to number one. Number two is uh, very similar. You can do that on your own. And number three is very, very similar. It's just that uh, we start with const instead of dim. And keep in mind in number three, we're setting the variable equal to the constant equal to 3.359 instead of zero. Okay, the, the other part of the worksheet. It's all assignment statements. An assignment statement works from right to left, as I no doubt have stressed in class already, from right to left. So in number four, we're doing some kind of computation here on the right-hand side, and whatever the final answer is, perhaps like 23 or, or 15, that number is plugging into the variable named the total fruit. So reading the question usually helps you uh, decide what is the variable into which you are assigning a, a number. In number four, it's total fruit, and number five, it's total price. You can figure it out for yourself on numbers six and seven. Just read the, the exercise and figure out what the final variable that has a number assigned into it. Now this uh, requires you to use an equal symbol in, on all these exercises. So you might just go in and, and fill in your equal symbol now. And let's proceed and do, uh, let's just do number six uh, as a group here. You can do the rest of those uh, on your own. And number six, the variable into which you're assigning a value is average. So we've used that up, so cross it out maybe in your word problem. And what else is uh, unused information? Game one, game two, game three. Hey, they must be numbers. Game one might be like a bowling score, 100. Game two might be 150. Game three might be like a, a 200 or something in bowling. So we're supposed to add those up. Uh, oh, you should know how to compute an average. You add things up and you divide by the number of things that you added up. So uh, we have three things there. Put parentheses around that because the order of operations requires you to add those first. And then divide. And you would just know to divide by three here. If you don't know that, go back to algebra class. So there you go. Uh, game one plus game two plus game three. Parentheses divided by three is the right-hand side of this assignment statement. Now, you might ask me what numbers are going to be plugged in there. I have no clue. When this program executes someday with a customer or somebody uh, running this program, they will be typing in three numbers. And those three numbers, you can just assume, will be plugged in there. And uh, when this code executes, it will all mathematically simplify, perhaps to a number like 122.9 maybe. And that final uh, number there would be assigned into the variable average. That's just the way it works. Okay, number seven, notice that I use the word product. That means multiplication. 
you'll be multiplying something by 1.06 as part of your answer. Back here in number five, the word product shows up again. You'll need to use a star for multiplication. And number eight, let's see, uh, number eight, you should know that when you buy gas, a certain number of gallons of gas, you should know that it's a multiplication with the price of gas that tells you how much you owe for that gas. And number nine is the only different problem here. I'll talk about that for a second. Number nine, instead of a variable, we're putting our final answer into a label. And labels have that text property that you always have to remember to uh, type out. So what is it that we're putting into this label? Well, we are not adding, subtracting, or dividing here. We are doing something called concatenation. I believe we've already studied that this school year. It involves a plus sign. And what are we uh, concatenating? A dollar symbol. And we are concatenating it with grand total. Let's say that grand total is $20. So uh, whatever grand total is needs to be concatenated with a dollar sign. This is close to the final answer. I'm not going to uh, provide you with the rest of the answer. But because these two things are strings, uh, and strings are always wrapped in double quotes, you have to add double quotes somehow to this exercise. Uh, there's also another twist. You have to use the str function that converts numbers into strings. So somehow the quotes and the str command gets used here uh, to finish your final answer for number nine. Please reread the lecture notes or any previous worksheets to uh, help you if uh, you're not sure what to do from this point on.